fiery exchanges marked the first debate for president as each candidate trying to get their points across and many Tulsans gathered to watch and see while making their decision for their ballot. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Neely Jones. This evening marked the first of three presidential debates. News Channel 8's Burt Mumolo visited both watch parties tonight to get local reaction. Burt? Nearly supporters for the candidates, just as passionate as the candidates, with very little wiggle room between them. On a night all about highlighting differences, let it be known that Republicans and Democrats have at least one thing in common. The response to the question, how important is this election? Or this is probably the most, <clears throat> I've told most of Repu all the Republicans I can get to, I've told them that this is the election of their lifetime. It truly is one of the most consequential elections of our lifetime. Um, we are on the verge of losing our democracy and going towards an autocracy. We now turn your attention to the differences demonstrated in simplest terms by campaign yard signs, a massive banner proclaiming great president and a spray painted banner with the subtext not so great. I did it last night at two o'clock in the morning. I couldn't sleep. Roger Green at 37th and Yale, his do-it-yourselfer grabbing attention galore. I'm in a Toyota pickup every once in a while, just flipping a bird at me and yelling the, the four-letter word at me. So, but I take it in stride. As to the candidates' performances and if they were holding their own. Oh, sure he's holding his own, yeah. He was, I mean, he just running right over the top of Joe, and Joe's trying to push back, and, you know, and Donald, yeah, he's a, he's a pretty savvy old New York boy, and he's not going to let anybody push him around. Joe Biden is holding his own in the debate. Unfortunately, um, uh, the president is acting a little bit immature and, and not allowing on him to uh, complete his, his, his thoughts, his sentences. We leave you tonight with more differences as we asked everyone for a one-word description of each candidate. We'll start with the president. Donald Trump is... Awesome. Liar. Extraordinarily. Temporary. And as for his challenger, Joe Biden is... Competent. Disturbing. Joe Biden is respectful. A follower. Next debate, October 15th, live in Midtown, equidistant between each headquarters. Bert Mumolo, News Channel 8.